drove over 200 competitive kilometres and probably the toughest round so far of the East Coast Bull Bars Australian Championship. We're here with the podium place getters and right here in the Honda racing team, third place, Mark Petterclair. Ryan, how good is that? Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? One and three for Honda. Um, yeah, it's just fantastic to be back up on the podium again. Like I think I said to you at the start, Dino, it's just a, a battle of attrition. This event is just so tough, so long, the roads are so rough, and um, be here at the end and you never know what can happen. I reckon you picked it right though, didn't you? From, like you said, shakedown, I reckon you had this sussed on what you wanted to do and what you need to do for this rally. Yeah, look, after recce, you just saw the roads and, you, you know, a bit of rain around how slippery it was and how tricky it is. It's just, you know, with the boys up the front going so fast, like you look at their times in comparison to the four-wheel drives and they're, but, you know, beating the Skodas on stages. It's just, you know, you, you hang thereabouts and, um, yeah, end up where we are. The other thing is, Claire, you are very competitive on times. We've talked to Tom and Bill about them stepping up. I think you guys have done the same. You've put in some really great stage times this weekend. Yeah, thanks, Dino. I think we have too. Um, we, everyone always said when, you got, when we got into the car, it would take you 18 months. It's been that time now. You know, Mark's got a handle on this car perfectly and um, the game plan was always just keep it slow and steady. Well, not slow, but steady. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, was, that was mean. That was mean. No, just keep it steady to get the points to finish and here we are in third place because you never know what's going to happen in a rally like this. So. Second position, holding up the honours of the Renault Sport team. Tom Wild, Bill Hayes, well done. Really, really tough event. Thanks, Dean. Yeah, it was a really tough event and then we just sort of got through and consistently quicker all weekend and um, unfortunately for Scott and the Renault team, it's we've He's dropped back in the points a bit there, so we we managed to come through on second this weekend. So I'm really really happy with that and a great birthday present for us. <laughs> we talked about maybe getting another spot, uh, not maybe the way you wanted to get it, but you're in a strong podium position from the get go. You also obviously you know the Pettis Power Stage you won, so that was a really strong you know weekend for you. Yeah, we bagged a heap of points for the weekend, which is really good for our campaign and and um, yeah, just just happy with that. And that uh, we came here to sort of be on the podium and try and get a lot of points, which we've done. Really happy. Bill, from where we were sitting, it looks like you guys have made a bigger step forward than everybody this weekend. Oh, look, I think Tom's made a huge step forward. You know, we worked really hard at testing. He did an awesome job at recce. And, you know, from then on, the results came from that. So, uh, you know, pretty level-headed drive today for someone who's 26 years of age. You know, we were in no man's land and he just chipped away. We kept enough pressure on that if someone did unfortunately make a mistake, we'd be right there, which has happened. Sadly, it was our teammate, but, uh, you know, great position to be in and he deserves it. Scotty, you've been fighting hard all weekend, mate. Uh, talk us through what's happened those last couple of stages. Basically, um, yeah, the second last stage, I just got crashed uh, on the, or just put it off a, a ditch, probably on the easiest corner of the whole rally. Um, just missed the apex um, by a little bit and, and got a rut in the, in the middle of the corner and, and tried to sort of power out and just the left hand front wheel just dipped over a, um, a little drop off and we uh, nosed it in a metre and uh, took us 10 minutes to uh, get it back onto the road and, and then we, and then we went, won the last stage just to just to show them we've still got it. And the winners of round four of the East Coast Bull Bars Australian Championship, the International Rally of Queensland. What a tough one. Eli Evans, Glenn Weston, well done. Thanks, mate. It uh, hasn't sunk in yet, I don't think. It was all a bit surreal on the second last stage when Scott had dramas and almost gifted us the win there. So, you know, we kept the pace on and we kept the pressure on as much as we could. And, you know, he, he was the one who made the mistake in the end. So it was it was coming either myself or Scott. Was, it was something we had to give. So I'm, I'm lucky that the Honda Jazz it wasn't us. So we've done it again, 10 out of 10. It was almost getting to a boiling point, wasn't it, where something had to give. You guys are giving so much and going so hard. I've never seen you under that much pressure that last service. Yeah, I was feeling it. I, um, I didn't know what to expect and I was trying to decide what tyres I was going to run and I had all these things running through my head. So to, it's just a, it's a great experience having such a tight battle in the Australian Rally Championship and I'm really enjoying it. And, and uh, you know, Scott, he's a mean competitor. He's the meanest one I've come across yet. So uh, it's, a, it's good fun. He doesn't give up, does he? Westo, as Eli said, 10 in a row. That record is just building and building and probably more importantly, championship points again, and you've gained some more. Uh, yeah, I haven't uh, crunched the numbers yet. I know you find that surprising, but, um, <laughs> but I, I think we're, we're probably uh, comfortable heat ahead now. So I think we'll probably gap Scott another 15 or so points with this. So that'll probably take it out around 40 odd points. So that gives us a little bit of breathing space, but not much. And in this championship, you know, it's just not enough, is it? It's not Coffs Harbour's next, so we're already thinking about that. And that's, you know, this is, this, well, well, this is called an endurance event, but that's, 
that must be a super of endurance <laughs> event because I think there's another 100 competitive kilometres on top of what we've already done. So I've never done a world rally, a round of the world rally championship before um, in, in its full length. So I'm really looking forward to that one.